In this video, I want to talk about the Q3 2019 earnings performance, which just ended. So there were a total of 16 trades between middle of October and some of the a couple of the trades went on into middle of December as well. There were 12 winners, three losers and one break even. The winners totaled to 12,475 and the losers and break even was exactly negative 2000. So the net performance was 10,475 and this was all done on an average of about 10 contracts. And so the account size would be somewhere between a 25,000 to $30,000 account. You can do for less as well. You can, you don't have to do 10 contracts. You can do two contracts or three contracts. And obviously you can do it with a lesser account size. But I'm just saying I was assuming about a $30,000 uh, account size and we went about 10 contracts now these trades don't generally last for very long because we put it either a few days before the earnings event and then once the earnings event is over we are most likely going to take it off now of course if the earnings report that did not match the trade alignment and then we have to adjust the trades that will what will take the trades a little bit longer and we had a couple of those with Expedia and CRM and we, and we were trying to come back to break even uh, on those two trades we were not able to but most trades generally get over between I would say five to ten days and so you're not using all your capital at one time uh, you're generally spacing out your capital because even the earnings announcements are not all together uh, many stocks start at the beginning of the season and then it goes on for it goes on for actually a good couple of months and so your capital is being used only on a limited level at any given time these are all the actual trades that we took. We started with Netflix. That was a great trade and it was over within a couple of days or so. We did about 1450. The next trade IBM went down. And then of course we did uh, trades on uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill, Visa, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Shopify, Qualcomm. And actually we had a great winning streak right there. And then Tesla was a tough trade. We brought it back to break even and Expedia and CRM were the true trades that we had to hold and adjust for quite a while. And uh, they still ended up as losers, but uh, the positions improved substantially from where it was. Expedia particularly was a problem because Expedia's expected move was plus or minus uh, eight or nine points. And Expedia got hammered by $35 it went down by $35 after the earnings event. So these kinds of extreme events also can happen. Earnings reports are generally a speculative event, but when you look at it from the option standpoint, you can strategize and you can create strategies simply out of time decay and the volatility explosion and the ensuing implosion or the volatility crush. And so most of the trades that went well are all incorporating these strategies. All of these are discussed in the earnings max product.